Lance Bass from NSYNC has type 1.5 diabetes. What the heck is that? Is it type 1? Is it type 2? Is it something on its own? Here's what you need to know. Type 1.5 is also known as LATA, latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. Autoimmune means the immune system is attacking the cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. That is type 1 diabetes. LATA type 1.5 is simply a subtype of type 1 diabetes. It is type 1 diabetes. But here's the difference. LATA progresses really slowly. When a child or someone with type 1, traditional type 1, develops diabetes. The symptoms often come on very suddenly because the attack on the immune system has gone into overdrive and your insulin production plummets. This causes your blood sugar levels to rise to dangerous levels and your ketone levels to rise to dangerous levels, which produces all the symptoms of type 1 diabetes. Those symptoms include extreme thirst, having to go to the bathroom all the time because you're drinking so much fluid, losing weight for no reason, changes in your vision, feeling just cranky and lethargic, funny smelling breath recurring yeast infections or UTIs. And by the way, all of those symptoms apply to LATA also. In LATA, in type 1.5, in Lance Bass, the attack on the pancreas and those insulin producing cells is really slow. But at a certain point, what Lance thought was type 2 diabetes suddenly shifts because everything he was doing is no longer effective. He improved his diet. He was exercising more. He was trying to put his diabetes into remission through those traditional lifestyle changes. That can only work for so long if you actually have type 1.5 diabetes, not type 2. Eventually, your blood sugar levels start to rise. And I know people who were diagnosed, misdiagnosed, with type 2 diabetes, and at first they went on keto or strict vegan diets, and it looked like it was working. And then they see A1C levels and blood sugar levels start to rise. Then their doctor puts them on medications for type 2, which will help at first because it makes you ultra sensitive to insulin, it increases your natural insulin production, and it decreases how much sugar your liver is making. But eventually those stop working too. Because meanwhile, that attack from the immune system on your pancreas's insulin producing cells becomes more and more aggressive. So your body is producing less and less insulin. And that's when the blood sugar levels continue to rise and you start producing the more classic symptoms of type 1 diabetes. Some people with LATA can go years without needing daily insulin therapy, but they're probably gonna need support from type 2 medications for quite a while first, like metformin, Ozempic, Manjaro, the ones you hear about in the headlines. Type 1 diabetes can develop at any age. It is not a childhood disease, but it is still misdiagnosed in adults all the time because doctors still think that it only develops in childhood and that it's rare in adults. Actually, 50% of new cases of type 1 diabetes every year are in adults. It's not rare, it's normal. We can change this. If you think you've been misdiagnosed with type 2 diabetes, ask your doctor for a C-peptide test and... What's the other one? Oh yeah, an autoantibody test. Here's a breakdown real quick on autoantibodies and C-peptide levels. Your C-peptide level tells you how much insulin your body is producing. That's it. In people with type 1, C-peptide levels are very low or they're like so low they can't even be measured. In people with type 2, C-peptide levels are usually very high because the body is working and working and working trying to produce enough insulin. Autoantibodies are kind of the result of your immune system attacking your own body. Autoantibodies don't usually develop in type 2 diabetes. So if you have autoantibodies present in your system, that probably means you have type 1 diabetes. It's very rare for a person with type 2 to have autoantibodies. Your doctor can ask for a test that looks for the autoantibodies related to type 1 diabetes. And get this. In most people who develop type 1 diabetes, autoantibodies are present before you're even five years old. Even if you don't develop the full onset of the disease, signs and symptoms of the disease until your teens, your 20s, your 30s. There's been so much research on how type 1 diabetes develops over time. And that's just some of what they know so far. Lance, I'm sorry you're in this club, but you are in this club. You have type 1 diabetes. Welcome to the club.